As we mentioned, Title 42 could potentially end in a week, leading to thousands of migrants additionally at the border. That is where we find our very own KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry. She is actually live near the Greyhound bus terminal with more. Jasmine. Good morning, Trevor. Yes, so as you can see, we're here in downtown where migrants are sleeping during these cold temperatures. As thousands of migrants line up at the border to surrender themselves, the city of El Paso has requested resources from the state of Texas as Title 42 could possibly end in less than a one week. As hundreds of migrants are staying out on these freezing streets in El Paso, Title 42 can possibly end on December 20th. The request has been made a state of emergency and although it has not been declared the state request is for sheltering migrants feeding law enforcement for the community and staff for processing and although the state of texas is providing law enforcement and transportation it is not sheltering migrants having the state to allow more funding from its actual budgeting mayor oscar leaser says 2500 of migrants a day having to be 75000 in a month period coming through the borders we talked about the uh, title 42 being lifted there are numbers that uh, being um, looked at that they think that it'll go up to about 5,000. You look at 5,000, that's 150,000 coming through in, in a single month. And that's where, you know, the federal government and the state will, will need to help us. Again, declaring a state of emergency to me was not an option. To be able to work with our partners was a, was a great option. Now, Oscar Leeser is 100% sure that they might keep title, title 42 longer, and if they do uh, lift Title 42, they are prepared. Reporting in downtown, I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. Jasmine, thank you so much. On to another update this morning.